Hey guys, welcome back. All Things Outdoors here. I'm really excited about 2018, uh, but I'm super excited about 2018 hiking season So, and, and, and some of my newest additions to uh, my backpacking gear. So I'm, I'm going to share with, with one of those with you right now. The, the backpack of choice for 2018, the ULA Photon. The ULA Photon is has got a lot of great features, and some of them removable. That is one of the things that attracted me to this pack. Not to mention, it's made more out of the it's made out of the 210 Robic. Um, some of the removable features it has removable pad on the inside. Uh, it has removable water bottle holders, and actually it has four of these on them, and they're really easy to remove. Actually, all you'll end up having to do is it has if you separate the the inside here it just flips open and then that releases the tension on the bungee cord then you take off the bungee cord then it's easily removed the, and you don't have to cut the bungee cord that's the great thing about this little clip then you can add it back later if you wish so it has four of those that are removable. It has the hand straps, which I'm on the fence about this. I wasn't sure if I was, actually I, I was positive I wasn't going to keep them on there, but the more I thought about it, I kind of tried it on with, uh, with a base load just to see what it felt like. Um, and, and it might be something that I leave on there. Um, it has on the inside a removable water bottle sleeve and an organizer sleeve. So once you take those things out, you actually lighten your pack drastically. Um, normally this pack weighs about 27 to 28 ounces. I'm going to have mine down to about 16 ounces because of one other thing also. It doesn't have the hip belt pockets. I decided to leave that off of there. One, it's, gonna, it's only going to sacrifice one liter of storage. Uh, they, they were kind of small pockets anyways, but for the base weight of 7 pounds and probably a 4 day trek weight of about 13 pounds to 14 pounds, depending on how much water you're carrying. Um, uh, it, it's not going to be necessary for me. So it's just one thing that I don't need on there and I really feel like it'll be a little more comfortable for me as well too. Uh, the side pockets do hold about 1.8 liters, um, it, enough for a water bottle or if you want to put a cook pot in there if you decide to use the, the uh, water bladder sleeve. Um, but I plan on using either smart water bottles. I usually use Fiji. Um, for the main reason that I lost a smart water bottle rolling off of a ledge uh, on a ridge line, so I, I figured Fiji doesn't roll and it's made out of the same material that the smart water bottle is, so I've been using the Fiji as, instead. Um, it does have side compression straps um, and then an over uh, a top compression compression strap as well, with enough strap to if you wanted to put a tent across the top or a bear canister. Um, just anything that, that you might want to latch across the top as well too. Um, on the inside, well let's talk about this outside pocket. The, the, the outside pocket I believe is about three, three and a half liters is what the outside pocket is. Normally it's made out of a stretchy mesh. I opted out of the stretchy mesh, mesh and wanted more of a, a rigid, non-flexible non mesh. Uh, just my personal preference. Um, I have the stretchy mesh on my Osprey, not a fan of it. Um, it just, I, I like the way that the non-stretchy packs a little better. So, and again, with the shock cord on the outside, it is removable. <clears throat> now, as far as the roll top enclosure here, uh, just pretty much standard. It does have an extension collar for about 400 cubic inches, about six and a half liters. Um, is what what you can fit it, as far as in the extension collar. The main body of it's about 20 liters. Uh, overall, the, it's a 35 liter pack minus the one liter of the uh, storage in the hip belt. Uh, mine's going to be 34 liters. So um, th the size of the pack is huge, and I'll show you this here. Uh, you can actually fit. I mean, a BV450 bear canister fits in it super easy. Um, so plenty of storage. Uh, I have loaded this up and I plan on doing a, uh, a uh, What's in My Pack 2018. So look for that in the future. But overall, plenty of storage. I, I've actually loaded it up with what I would load for a five-day uh, hike, including my food, and it, and it held it. Uh, it was at its max weight load, which is 18 pounds. 
um, which I wouldn't want to load any more than that, but if I wanted to use this for a five day, it would definitely hold everything I needed it to. So overall, pretty excited. Uh, let, let me show you those removable features on the inside now. Okay. So we have the water bladder sleeve here, and there's just a clip that pops apart, and then it slides out, and then you can actually take that apart if you wish. So let's go ahead and take the other one off here. This is what the water bladder sleeve looks like. And then it also has a nice little storage pocket on the inside. I plan on leaving that in there, so that actually uh, will be nice to put keys, wallet, uh, money, what, whatever you wish in there. It seems like it would be fairly water resistant. Um, I haven't tested it yet. Um, th that is going to be one thing with this one versus some of the other packs out there. It's not near as water resistant. Um, so I plan on using a pack liner with that. And the pack, pack liner of choice, it is the 20 liter Sea to Summit Ultra Sill Nano. This thing's ridiculous. It's like literally 1.2 ounces, I think. Uh, it's it's like a ripstop uh, nylon that's that's basically injected with silicone. Extremely water resistant and and extremely light. You can actually find them on Amazon about $25. So they are a little little more costly, but uh, I, I think. Uh, if you compare it to a, a Cuban fiber stuff sack, it actually might be a, 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 a money saver. So that might be an option there. So outside of that, guys, that's the pack. Um, you know, pretty excited. Can't wait to get it out on the trail and see what it see what it looks like. So stay tuned and, and be looking for my What's My Pack 2018. And also be looking for, here in February, my uh, trip to the Superstition Mountains. So uh, the route is still in question. I'm meeting a buddy there. Um, and we're going to either do the Siphon Draw Trail up to Flatiron. Or we're going to look to do some sort of loop. Maybe around uh, Weaver's Needle. There's, there's a couple different options out there. So don't quite know where we're going yet that's up to him this would be the first trip i'm not making the route on uh but i am taking a map jim so so be looking for that thanks for tuning in guys have any comments questions uh don't hesitate to leave them at the bottom uh subscribe and as always have a good hiking season we'll see you next time